Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here and I want to do a video today about how to transfer data between a Synology NAS and onto cold storage like a HDD, like a hard drive that you can put into an enclosure just like this. Now you might be wondering, well, what's the point? Why would you want to transfer data from a Synology onto a uh, cold storage? And the answer is, well, you probably wouldn't. Uh, but if you did want to do it, this is what you do. Now, let me just explain my use case. I uh, cre I'm starting to create a decent amount of data in the course of uh, producing these videos and I back everything up onto my NAS um, finished products. Now, the stuff that I kind of care less about but still feel there's a need to keep is a lot of the stock footage and b-roll that I, I get during my shoots and I sometimes put them up um, on websites like Pond5. Now that stuff I don't really think I'm ever gonna have a need for again, at least a good chunk of it. So that's the kind of thing that I am I'm at, at the moment moving off my NAS and onto cold storage. Now speaking about cold storage, literally uh, moving data onto a hard drive in an enclosure like this, and putting it on your shelf somewhere. So there's an, a number of disadvantages, which is why I said that you probably would not want to do this, but for the use case I outlined, you might want to. Now, uh, versus an NAS, you're not gonna have RAID if you're gonna have just a single uh, physical storage device sitting on a shelf somewhere. And the second major disadvantage that you're going to have is that your uh, hard drive is going to be subject to bit rot and demagnetization. So there's a finite length of time during which you can have data just sitting literally not connected to any electronics on a shelf. The only advantage that I can think of versus st storing data this way versus storing in an NES is you're not storing it in a, uh, in a medium that's connected to power. The, hard, the drive is physically sitting uh, cold and in any okay so here's my Synology NAS I'm using the DS920 plus you could probably use a bit of a dust and uh, this is my HDD enclosure I'm not too sure exactly what type of model this is it has a uh, USB 3.0 output and it needs a plug as well so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, connect this into power and I'm going to now power that on and you can feel uh, the hard drive starting to spin up. Now on the front of my Synology NAS, there is a little USB port here. So literally all you need to do is take uh, the USB 3 in your enclosure and connect it straight in to your NAS. And now it is connected. All right, so I've connected um, my HDD enclosure to my Synology DS920 NAS. Uh, just by sticking, uh, connecting the USB 3.0 cord. And after doing this, uh, you're going to see a external device. And in that case, that's going to be the enclosure. Now um, you're gonna get a volume for that as well. So let me go into the file manager and uh, show you what that looks like. So by default for me, whenever I've connected this, and by the way, you can format it uh, directly using the NES2. So if for whatever reason you need to reformat uh, the HDD as it sits in the enclosure, you can actually do that directly from within your Synology, which is pretty useful and cool. Uh, so this is the um, enclosure and in my NAS, I don't know if this is the case for every Synology, but it automatically appears as a volume entitled USB shared one. And this is what I'm currently using just to kind of offload, as I said, the stuff from the NAS that I don't really care that much about. So I have a folder here called stock and uh, it's pretty much just full, as you can see, of uh, stock video, a uh, B-roll basically from my YouTube projects. And this is what I do. I'm periodically dumping stock footage from my NAS and into uh, this enclosure. So let's go ahead now and move some more stuff over. Okay, so this is my stock footage volume that I've created on my, S on my NAS. And uh, there is a bit of stock uh, here since I've last done this. So let's just say for the sake of argument, um, I want to transfer over the stock here. So you can either do move or you can do copy and paste, but either way, it's really easy. I'm just gonna do a uh, cut and paste uh, today and move that now onto the, um, onto the HDD sitting in the enclosure. So I'm gonna firstly cut. Now I've gone into the USB share volume. I'm gonna go into my stock folder again. Um, and this time I'm going to do action and I'm gonna do paste and I'm gonna do paste skip because there's gonna be nothing matching this. Um, and now there's a file transfer uh, going on and basically it's moving live uh, data from, um, from the NES onto the HDD. It looks like it's finished running. So this was the folder, Ella Valley Divata Tormosim. 
and uh, you can see now that all those mp4 files they've moved uh, from my NAS onto the HDD enclosure I can go now and take that HDD out of its enclosure and put it on the shelf or I can just keep it on the shelf in the enclosure but my data has now been transferred off the NES and onto this external volume and that's pretty much all there is to say about this process. I hope that video was useful. If you'd like to get more videos from me about data storage and many many other topics please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.